back after a little bit. I uh, looked up where to go. Uh, apparently I have to go to the magic cave now. Uh, which is... Apparently to the east of uh, somewhere, so... Uh, I think it's up over here. No. Uh, uh, th there's a... I should have probably looked up uh, a bit more where it actually was. Um, there's a cave here somewhere that I guess I, I never really... looked at. Uh, okay, that's a thing. Okay. Uh, one thing, I don't know if I should, uh, I could probably go back and, uh, get frog badger. I don't know if that would be a good thing to do. Oh, I'd have to go all the way through, uh, Truce Canyon again. I could get over to the uh, the monster town. Uh, they've got a much quicker warp, but a uh, bit of a bother to go there. And he's probably not going to be doing much magic anyways. Uh, I think he hits pretty hard. I do really like the uh, overworld music though. Just sitting there listening to it for a while. It's kind of cool that Frog isn't the legendary hero. He's just like the. He was the goofy sidekick. I don't know, it's. I don't know, it makes it a bit more interesting. He'll keep using it now just as his weapon. Yeah, 
Okay, that was, uh... You guys must be weak against magic, then. I guess after we do this, uh, we'll get him the magic. I thought there was a ice whirl or something that I can do to do magic on everyone, but I guess I only need to really use it on the gremlins, so it's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I don't know. I guess I'll continue with games I've played. Um, the Switch is the uh, last console I've got here. Last console that I played this year. Uh, yeah, I didn't play too many different consoles this year. Normally, I play like you know, I'll, I'll emulate like you know, a Super Nintendo game and then a NES game, then an N64 game or whatever. And uh, I tend to play a bit more different things. But this year, it's just been I don't know, Switch and PC and NES. So let's see, there was uh, Sunrun Kagura Peach Ball, which, ah, uh, that was, uh, uh, Gremlins, right, shouldn't have used the, uh, I was thinking, oh, they're all clustered together, I can just uh, hit them all with uh, the sword spin, but, good idea, uh, I'm gonna have to use magic on the wall, one by one, I played Luca. Uh, she would, I think I can do, I think there's a flame spin I can do with her, and there's also uh, her flame toss, it goes in a line, it would hit them all. It would be a good choice. Alright, I'll see if this does anything. I'm not really expecting it to, it's, I don't think it's magic. Yeah. So Sunrun Cogger Peach Ball, it was, uh, like I mentioned, yeah, it was just uh, horribly disappointing that there was only two tables. Uh, I can't believe that they did that. That was just a uh, How did they not realize that, that was a terrible decision? Uh, next was uh, Nexamon Extinction. I think I did a bit of a video of that, kind of a review. Um, yeah, it was overall I did like it. Uh, it was better than Pokemon. Uh, still had some things I wasn't, you know, too into, but uh, yeah, overall it was I think better. Um, yeah, speaking of Pokemon, I guess I do kind of keep up with the Pokemon news and stuff. Uh, I know there's uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes are out. Uh, I think they just came out a couple days ago. Uh, not really interested in getting them. I've heard they aren't really that great. Uh, they don't really fix any of the problems with Diamond and Pearl. They don't. Uh, they don't have the new stuff from Platinum. They don't have any of the newer stuff from the newer games. It just seems like kind of uh, a Pokemon company kind of being lazy again and just throwing something out because they know that anything they put out, people will buy. But yeah, I'm not really interested in getting it. I would just. Uh, plus, with how slow the Pokemon games are, I would emulate them uh, so that I could fast forward and stuff. Uh, there's no way I'm playing another 
uh, like turn-based Pokemon game until they actually like speed things up. Strengthens his guard when attacked. Okay, I don't know what I would do with that information. Like he gets a higher defense when you attack him, so don't attack him or what? Uh, yeah, so the Diamond Pearl, not really interested in. Uh, I would just play the... I don't think I've even played the original ones, so I, I, if I wanted to play that, I would just emulate the originals. I think they look better anyways. Uh, then there's... Uh, what? Pokemon Arceus is, I think, supposed to come out. It's a couple months. It's... I don't remember exactly. I think it's early next year or something, or next year sometime anyways uh that i guess could be interesting it's you know it looks like it's kind of a bit of a open world pokemon and they're doing something a bit different so you know maybe or that could all just be marketing you know trying to say hey look you know we're making a, something cool and new but it's just going to be the same thing with uh one simple gimmick or something that doesn't really end up changing anything that looks like the girl that they were with, or in the one scene. Uh, Cyrus and Frog. Everybody's weird in here. I want the sword. That's what. Yeah, so I don't, uh, I'll keep an eye on that. I'm, you know, it it looks like it could be good, but it's the Pokemon company, so they're going to screw it up somehow. Did everyone... Everybody didn't get kidnapped or something. This is like a... Wait. These are people from 1000. Not from this time. Because we're in 600 right now. Uh, these are people from 1000, I guess. So something funny is going on. Uh... Right, because that's Chrono's mom, and then the princess. Ah, uh, okay. Something's gonna happen when I try and leave. Sonic Mania, uh, Resident Evil 4, Tori 3D, Anodyne, Minecraft. Um, talked about all those. Uh, uh, Hifu Boinkyo. Uh, that's one that I played. Uh, I have a, I have some recordings and kind of a video started on it. I started it months ago, but I just, I don't know. I never ended up finishing it up. I really should. Uh, I think it would be 
worthwhile to do because I haven't seen any other information on that game uh, and I think it would be of interest to some people anyways. Um, but it's basically, uh, it's Toho Fire Emblem is I guess the kind of quickest way to describe it. So if I go up here, yeah. Oh, let's kill the kids. Take their treasure. Okay, uh, he's gonna do that, but I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, yeah, I really should, uh, get some different people or something. Uh, I don't know, not being able to magic attack everyone at once is a bother. Uh, yeah, so Kiku go and kill it's, yeah, it's Toho themed Fire Emblem, basically. So you, uh, you collect all different Toho characters and, uh, do, like, exactly Fire Emblem style battles. Like, it's not, you know, it's not like Fire Emblem, it basically is Fire Emblem, uh, like the stats are the same, uh, there's the weapon triangle, there's, uh, you know, they, characters level up, they, uh, class up, they get, uh, abilities and stuff, there's, uh, uh, what is it, like the, characters can like each other and then work better when they're with each other, you can have characters carry or join with each other or whatever to get stat boosts, it's, uh, it's basically Fire Emblem in, like, you know, every way. Uh, I got Barrier. What? What is Barrier? Cuts magic hits by one third. So what this is- oh, it's like a- you use it in battle. Okay. Alright, so I can just- I can just change whenever I want, I guess. Uh, okay, I can't swap out Frog, but, uh... I think... I don't like not having Marl for the healing. So I would rather go with Chrono and then Luca and Marl right now, but, uh... I gotta keep... Mar uh, I gotta keep Frog, and I gotta keep Marl for the healing. Yeah, the only thing that I didn't really like about it is that the the difficulty level or the difficulty curve is insane in that game. It just goes up and down. Like you'll have one character go through an area and just kill every enemy in one hit and take like zero damage uh, in counterattacks, and then you know there'll be a special like you know maybe a recruitable enemy character or. A, you know, the boss or whatever, and then they'll just start, like, one-shotting all of your characters. Uh, I guess I have to just kill everyone. Yeah, and so it's just, I, I don't know, the difficulty is just completely broken. But other than that, yeah, it's a, I don't know, unfortunately it's Japanese only, and there's a lot of dialogue. That was the other thing I didn't really like. Uh, you know, maybe if it, were, if it was in English it would be quicker for me to read, uh, and so it wouldn't be as bad, but uh, there's, there's tons and tons of dialogue, and it seems like every story, like, uh, at the beginning and end of every story mission there's a whole ton of talking. 
and it seems like they wanted every single character to talk during each of them. So every character pops up to say something. And it's just, I don't know, it, it's a bit excessive. Uh, but other than that, like I don't know really that much about Toho. It's that was kind of like my first Toho thing. Uh, but yeah, if anybody who is a Toho fan who can can read Japanese, I guess I would suggest it to them. Oh, let's see, then there was, what, uh, Shining Resonance Refrain, Disgaea, uh, I talked about both of them, uh, both kind of disappointing. Uh, then I played, I did a, I did a, vid a video on, uh, Monyu, and I had since finally got my cartridge. Uh, I had ordered it from PlayAsia, and they take forever to ship and then forever for it to actually arrive. Uh, I think it took something like three months. And uh, I've played a bit more since then, but then I, I got distracted with other games. Okay, that was some strange text there. Magic Scarf, maybe? Yeah, I got some other games and I ended up just kind of not really going back to it. I do like it though, and I'm probably gonna... I'm hopefully gonna finish it sometime. Uh, I've got a couple other games that, you know, this... And, uh, I just finished a playthrough of uh, Total War Warhammer and, you know, I've got a couple other games I want to just kind of tidy up, but then I do hope to go back to it, so... Hopefully I will finish it. Uh, I've just done like one more dungeon since the video I did. Uh, yeah, I... It, it's pretty good. I do have a ton of uh, dungeon crawlers to play on the Switch actually. That seems to be a very popular genre on there. Uh, like I, I've got what uh, I got. Okay. That's another thing that if this game came out today, people would flip out. Okay, this is getting fancy. Ah, uh, he's got an MP. Yeah, so I've got the, uh, I ordered the Mary Skelter, uh, 1 and 2, and then I ordered, uh, Nightmare, uh, and I haven't played any of them yet, but they do look really good, um, Yeah, they look really good, and I do like dungeon crawlers quite a bit. Uh, I was, I played most of like the Etrian Odyssey games uh, back on like the DS and the, or the yeah the DS and the 3DS. Uh, 
uh, and I ordered the Japanese ones just because the, the English... Uh, oh, was it tonic? No, either tonic, cure, heal. That's, that's what the idea is. Uh, yeah, when you're ordering, if you want to play the Japanese language, for, like for anyone who's studying Japanese, if you want to play the Japanese language version of a game, the majority of games on the Switch, whatever version you buy, they have all languages. So you can just buy the English version on like the North American eShop uh, and then just play that and that's fine. But uh, many of the like really Japanese games, like the anime style ones, the, uh, the ones that are like Dragon Quest, um, I think Atelier, uh, Uh, Digimon, a lot of those kind of games, uh, they don't include the Japanese text. Uh, sometimes they include the Japanese voiceover, but they often don't include the Japanese text. Uh, so if you want to actually play them, uh, you know, the Japanese text, the uh, Japanese voice and everything, uh, you need to import the, like, the actual Japanese copy. Uh, now you can, you can buy, uh, like, Japanese, uh, e-store e cards from, like, PlayAsia or whatever. The problem with doing that is that, uh, if you do that, uh, their PlayAsia takes a cut, so you have to pay more, um, you know, you're looking at paying, I don't know, $65 or $60 for a $50, uh, like $50 on the eShop. Uh, the other thing is, of course, they don't go on sale as much or as deeply. Uh, if you buy a game, you can usually buy used Switch games on like Amazon Japan. Yeah, you can buy the used Switch games on Amazon Japan, and, you know, it'll be like $30 maybe for a used game, and, you know, $5 or $10 shipping or whatever. Uh, and they will... Some of them won't ship outside of Japan, but it seems most of them will. So if the game is, like, a bit older, you can get it used. Uh, even if you can buy it new, of course, then you're going to pay the full price plus the shipping, so... In that case, it may be cheaper to get it from PlayAsia Digital, or, yeah, uh, I've kind of stopped buying games from PlayAsia physical versions because they just take forever to ship for some reason. It's, like, I, I don't know, I, I ordered uh, Mary Skelter, I think it was like a week ago, from Amazon Japan, and it came yesterday. Whereas I, you know, I pre-order something on PlayAsia, and then it doesn't ship the day it comes out. It doesn't ship till like you know a week or two after it's come out, and then it takes like two months to arrive. And yeah, you know, I've even had I think I had one game that it just never came. It you know it was three months later, or four months later, and I emailed them like, hey, you know, it's. It's not here yet. What's going on? And they did, and they did uh, refund me or whatever. But uh, like, yeah, I just find they're they're just way too slow. On your uh, magic tab. Yeah, getting them from uh, like Play, uh, Amazon Japan or eBay are both good choices. There's a lot of uh, there's more choice on Amazon Japan, but do they don't all ship to uh, North America. Whereas eBay, it tends towards older games and you know a bit older games. Like you can get any kind of new game on Amazon Japan, but eBay is you know it's tending towards a bit older. Like still switch games, but you know you're not going to be getting something the day you know the day it comes out on eBay. 
Uh, but yeah, I, th I think both of those are much better choices than like Play Asia or whatever. Wait. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought I was supposed to go around like beating all of them, but uh, they're just uh, they're just enemies. That's just what the enemies look like in here. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I've got the Mary Skelter games. Uh, there's the uh, monster, uh, some Monster Girl game. Uh, Mon, Mon something Crystal. Uh, I think it's related to like the Monster Mon piece and uh, similar games. It looks really good, and I love Monster Girl stuff. So uh, that'll be good to play sometime. Uh, I've got uh, there's couple other actually that I've got too so I've got lots of dungeon crawlers to play sometime uh, yeah hopefully I'll get around to them someday yeah I need to fight everyone I do like their little uh things they say before you fight them though they're all they're all pretty funny what's this is this guy oh I thought maybe he was gonna fight them or something Uh, the last game I've played on Switch, uh, I'm still in the middle of playing it, and I do intend to finish it probably in the next couple days, is uh, Man Eater. I got it for Christmas. Uh, I I don't know, I think I had heard about it back when it came out, but I kind of assumed it was... I don't, it looks like it would be just a kind of garbage, uh, you know, indie meme game, you know, like Goat Simulator or whatever, something like that, where, okay, it, you know, it's... It's five minutes of fun being like, haha, you're a shark eating people. Uh, but it's actually pretty good. Like, it's not, you know, some amazing uh, masterpiece or anything, but... I, yeah, I have been having a fair bit of fun with it. It's kind of a uh, open world, you know, you just kind of swim around this... Uh, you know, water system, uh, you know, there's lakes and rivers and out to the, the ocean and then like the, the jet stream or whatever and the, uh, uh, you know, a lake going, or, you know, a river going into through like a fancy neighborhood and stuff and, uh, you just kind of go where you want and eat things and find, uh, you know, uh, pickups or whatever, uh, you know, you collect all the, the widgets and, or whatever and uh, get power-ups and... Yeah, it's, it's kind of a typical open-world game, I guess, but uh, it's, you know, fairly fun and then it does have the pretty good humor of, you know, you're a shark just eating people, so... And there's lots of you know, kind of funny little references, like there's, I don't know, a, a banana stand, like, sunk in the water at one point, and, uh, I don't know, you get, it says, like, you know, achievement, uh, there's always money here, or whatever, uh, I think there was, like, a Terminator reference at one point. Uh, and yeah, there's a bunch of other things, uh, and it's always just kind of really... Irreverent humor or whatever.
Did you just berserk frog? Oh, okay, I guess not. Oh, okay, it's, the haste is making him grow red. Uh, grow red. Um, I, I thought maybe that was something he did. So I guess that's kind of all the games, or at least most of the games. I'm pretty sure there's probably a couple I'm forgetting that I you know, I turned on and played five minutes of or whatever. Um, I don't get what that's supposed to be when he says, like, attack, attack, attack. I... I had thought that he was, you know, making them berserk. Because that would kind of fit. to do with that sword. As games go next year, um, I know Breath of the Wild's coming out, uh, Breath of the Wild 2, uh, or whatever it's going to be called. Uh, that, I mean, I'm somewhat, uh, I, don't know. I love Breath of the Wild. For me, you know, it was, it was the first real Zelda, basically, in a long time. To me, that's, you know, Zelda is exploration, it's just, you know, no hand-holding, you go out, you explore, and uh, they've kind of lost that over the years, and then Breath of the Wild, that was like, you know, full return to form. Uh, so yeah, I, I really hope that uh, 2 is more of that, basically. Yeah, I'm really hoping that, you know, I know some people complained about that, I really hope they don't listen to them, and it's just, it's more exploring. It just drops you into, like, the world, and you just go around, and uh, there's not, like, a ton of cutscenes and talking and all that. Uh, I am, you know, I am a bit uh, worried about it, because I know they, a lot of what they've shown so far has had, like, Zelda going along talking and stuff, and, uh... I'm worried it will be more kind of like linear or something, and uh, you know, you'll be fall Zelda will be with you all the time talking, and I'm also a bit worried about the like the what they're gonna do for the world map because from what they've shown, it seems like it's gonna be like the same world. It's still Hyrule, and it's it's just after like the events of one or something, from what I gather, anyways. Uh, and I, the world was kind of the one thing I didn't really care about in Breath of the Wild, because it was just kind of normal, like it was just kind of like an average Zelda world. And it was good because it had all the, uh, 
you know, all the, it was such a good game, but it was kind of a boring world. So I've always thought, like, if they make another Zelda game, and they have the same mechanics and stuff, but a more interesting world, or, you know, some new gimmick or something, it, it could end up just kind of re replacing Breath of the Wild. Like, because it would just be the same good mechanics, but in a different world. Like, a better world. Um, although, yeah, they've said it is, like, kind of the same world, so... Which then, it could have just end up being kind of like... You know, if they don't change it too much, it's going to be kind of boring, because you're doing the same thing over again. Uh, it's like, I didn't really care for... Uh, uh, I didn't really care for that in... Link Between Worlds, because it was just a Link Between Past, the same world over again. And I would have much preferred if it was just its own new world to explore. Uh, although apparently there is going to be like caves and, you know, maybe underwater or something, and there'll be floating sky islands and stuff. So they could... It, it would be cool if they hugely changed it to the point where you can just see like barely like little remnants left of the original world. If you were like, oh, this is cool, this is like that lake, but now it's like floating in the sky and... Oh, so this is, you know, what's underneath that one town or whatever. Like, there's a cave here, or... Uh, you know, they, they could do something really cool that way, but I am kind of worried it's going to be a bit samey. Or that they might do the same world, but then in order to have it not just be Breath of the Wild again in the same world, they'll, they'll add, like, a whole bunch of story stuff, and you'll just be... It'll be, it'll be like going through Breath of the Wild, but with like cutscenes every five minutes or something. So yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. Anyways, I'm just kind of worried it may not be like amazing. Like it may just be like, oh, okay, they they're back on. The, the, you know, the path of just kind of boring standard Zelda games where you, you know, they're linear and you go through and watch a bunch of cutscenes and solve some really bad puzzles. But yeah, I'll see. Um, I don't know if they have like an actual release date or they have said, yeah, it's next year, but, uh, I don't know, uh, when exactly. Uh, I guess it's okay if it's a bit later in the year, uh, because, uh, I think February, uh, Total War Warhammer 3 and Elden Ring are coming out, and I've got both of them pre-ordered, so, uh, I don't even know what I'll be playing, because, uh, I think Warhammer comes out first, and then like an, a week later Elden Ring comes out, and there's no way I'll be even done one campaign by then, so... Uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, from what I gather, it's gonna be... Warhammer 3 is gonna be like its own kind of campaign, kind of like the Vortex, where it'll be a sub-map or whatever, and just a couple races, like there'll be, uh... Cathay, Ogres, uh, the various Chaos, uh, Kislev, and then I'm guessing there's probably going to be a couple uh, NPC races, like uh, maybe there'll be like some Empire Expedition race or something that's NPC only, and uh, you know maybe a, a Norska race or whatever. But uh, it's going to be fairly limited, I think, at the start. And then eventually, I think they're going to make the Mortal Empires again, where it's the entire map, and that's mostly what I play. Uh, I've played through the Vortex once, I think. And uh, so yeah, I'll probably... Probably what I'm going to do is I'll play through the like the, one of the Ogre campaigns, uh, because they seem to be the most different. And then uh, after that, uh, maybe it won't take as long. Uh, oh, there's a guy there. Did I pick up any left?
yeah, I'll play through like the Ogre uh, story campaign or whatever, and then that'll probably be it until uh, Mortal Empires comes out. Uh, just mostly because the Ogres, they seem to be the most different from all the other races. Uh, like, you know, the various Chaos, uh, okay, they're a... Uh, you know, they're various kind of heavy melee armies, so, you know, I've played through as Bretonia, so are they going to be that different than Bretonia? Uh, same with, like, Cathay and Kislev, are they going to be really that functionally different than, you know, uh, Empire, which I've, or Dwarves, and I've played through, uh, I've played both of them, so... Yeah, but uh, Ogre is just, you know, an army of just uh, big monsters. Uh, should be kind of interesting. Oops. Ah, uh, stop. Oh, that did... That did a fair bit of damage. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably just play as... Uh, Ogres once, and then uh, maybe check the other races out once Mortal Empires comes out. Uh, so may maybe I can do an Ogre campaign in the week before uh, Elden Ring comes out. Doomfinger. That. Oh, Robo. Okay. I gotta actually take a break now. I got some other stuff I gotta do, so I'll uh, save state here and then uh, then I'll come back uh, hopefully tomorrow. Deal with these guys first, anyways. That must be the guy who they said he he puts on his defense or whatever when uh, all right. So I just have to alternate what I hit him with. going to be it for today. I will save here and then uh, hopefully just a few more days and I'll have this done. And hopefully I don't run out of stuff to talk about.